Hello everyone, this is Crafty Grandma here with you today. And um, since I made my video a couple days ago on my policy envelopes, I had a few requests from my subbies to make a tutorial. And I've never done a tutorial before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out here on the camera. So please bear with me if I make a mistake. <laughs> please don't laugh. Um, I've already tried two and I screwed them up. So this is the third try. Let's hope I get it right this time. Okay, we have <clears throat> a 12 by 12 sheet of paper here. It's pretty plain. It just has some little X's on it. I have my Martha Stewart scoreboard here. It goes up to 12 inches. And we're going to start scoring. Let's see. Now since this one has X's going this way, um, we're going to have to make the flap up here on the top and the bottom, and then the sides will turn in like this. So, let's see, for the sides we're going to do 3 inches and 8 and a half. 3 and 8 and a half. So those are going to be our flaps that we're going to fold in. Now we're going to turn our paper the other way, 90 degrees, and we're going to do <clears throat> um, th let's see, we want to do uh, for the flaps a half an inch, that will be the bottom one. So let's turn it this way. This is going to be the bottom we're going to do a half an inch. That'll be the bottom flap. And the other one that will be the top flap will be ten and a half. And then where these meet, oh, it's going to be very hard to see this because I can't hardly really see them myself. Um, we're going to fold these. This is going to be the bottom flap. This is going to be the top one up here. And then these three inch ones here are going to be the ones that you're going to turn in. Okay. So, let's get that out of the way. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Now, first we have to cut there's little triangles here where the score marks meet. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut. I know it's hard to see because it's white and I can barely see it myself, but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do here. My camera just doesn't seem like it wants to focus in right or something and I, I try to change the settings on it and I thought I had everything fixed right but as I'm looking into the camera it looks like they're not right. It looks too bright or something. I don't know. Okay so you can see here on this side we've already trimmed this part right here. Now we have to trim the other side. this a little bit right here so the flap will turn up okay so that's what we have so far now this is going to be the bottom now we have to go to the top ones and we're going to cut these Okay, now we got them cut. We're going to angle these ones too a little bit. Take that little bit off of there. 
And again over here on this side. Okay. Now, this is the way it's going to be. This is going to be turned in this way. This is going to be turned in this way. And then this is the bottom flap down here. And let's glue. I'm using today my Scotch permanent tape. So first of all, we're going to put some tape on this side. You can use glue, wet glue if you'd like. But I didn't feel like messing around with the wet glue today, so I'm just using this. And it's a permanent tape, so it should hold good. Um, now we're going to glue the bottom flap. This is a very simple envelope to make if you just get the scoring correct and, you know, taping down the sides and everything. So there's your envelope. It's finished. And you can see it's, it's pretty deep. So you can probably get a lot of things in there if you want to mail this. Um, send some happy mail in it, some embellishments or whatever. Maybe, I don't even know if a pocket letter would fit in there or not. I'm not sure. But, um, and then when you go to mail it, you just turn down this other flap up here, glue it, do whatever you want with it. And then you can put an address label on the back, your return address, and throw it in the mail. So that's my tutorial for today. I hope it wasn't too bad since this was my first one I've ever made. And um, if you like it, leave me a comment below and uh, be kind. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.